Welcome to a beautiful day in Kansas City, Missouri in America's Game of the Week. The Green Bay Packers on their seven-game winning streak taking on the Kansas City Chiefs coming off a win on Monday night. A record of four and four. 72 degrees. Couldn't be any better here in the first week of November. Kansas City won the toss. They defer, so we get to see young Jordan Love right out of the gate. Glad you're with us today on Fox. Malik Taylor will bring it. And not able to make the 25. Knocked down by Mike Hughes. And here comes Jordan Love. First NFL start doing it in a hostile environment. One of the best stadiums in the NFL. And moments ago, a hug from his head coach, Matt LaFleur. Everybody on that sideline coming up to him. And he's got plenty of noise to deal with as the drive starts at the 24. Love keeps, rolls out, dumps it off, incomplete for Dominique Daphne. Willie Gay with pressure on the quarterback who starts 0 for 1. Well, immediately Kansas City comes up and they are going to try to take the run away, of course, with it being Jordan Love's first start. Good call there by Matt LaFleur as far as trying to take advantage of that with the play action. I think we're going to see a lot of those types of things early in this game, quick passing game. Just try to allow Jordan Love to settle into this thing. Toss to Jones, breaks one tackle. Ends up picking up four as Anthony Hitchens makes the stop. Hitchens back with a tricep injury that cost him the last two games. And here's the offensive line. No David Bakhtiari. They thought they might get him back this week. Not ready, but they do get their top three receivers back. They didn't have in that win out in Arizona. Third down and six. Love trying to drop it off for Jones, incomplete fourth down. Anything but a clean pocket, time ran out, and it's three and out. Well, it's just a matter of, matter of things kind of slowing down for Jordan Love. Right now, it's 100 miles an hour for him, and so they play coverage. Kansas City, you see the safeties play deep. He had a chance in the middle if he sees it right away and anticipates that he's got a clean shot but not seeing it as clearly as what an Aaron Rodgers would, he at least is able to get out of that with a punt and didn't force anything into coverage. Melvin Ingram had pressure and got his hand on the arm of Love. Here's a short punt by Bohorquez. And on a hop, Hardman takes it. And good starting field position for Kansas City after just a 38-yard punt. Here comes Patrick Mahomes, and everybody, Troy, wants to know what's wrong with this Chiefs offense. One thing that's easy to spot, all the turnovers, 19 giveaways, the most in the NFL. A lot of turnovers, a lot of penalties. It's hard, you know, they're playing losing football. It's hard to win when you're doing those kinds of things. They, they haven't gotten the big plays either. I mean, it's one thing if you're turning the ball over and you've got the setbacks with the penalties as long as you're getting the big plays down the field, but they've been hard to come by. Quick throw, Hill. Trying to make moves and staying right with him is Kevin King. A gain of just one as King is back after missing the last three games with a shoulder injury. Let's talk about this offense. You know about the giveaways and they are fourth ranked overall. In fact, it's not Troy like they're not getting yards. Just under 413 yards a game. It's a big number. No, they're moving the ball on the teams that they've played. They've just shot themselves in the foot as Chiefs fans know all too well. 
Mahomes to his right, skips it in there, incomplete. With Tyreek Hill. A little slow to get up after that ball hit him, and it's third and nine. Yeah, he's coming off a little gingerly, but I'll tell you that when you look at the Chiefs offensively, yeah, they've had the turnovers, they've had the penalties, but Mahomes hasn't been as clean as what we're used to either as far as accuracy goes, and that was a pretty good example of it there on second down. He had, a, he had an open receiver and just unable to get the ball to him. So third down and nine, Mahomes slings it. Kelsey with a catch. Close to first down yardage, it's fourth down. Just short by half a yard. Yeah, it was going to, because he was right at the first down markers, and then he came forward just a touch. You know, push this up a little bit more. You see, he passes, but then when he comes and makes the play, that's a good job by Chandon Sullivan and the Chiefs. By no surprise, we're going for it. Opportunity for this Green Bay team and their defense as they hand and a first down plus. Williams rumbles into Packer territory and a gain of 12 on fourth and one. That's good tough running there by Darrell Williams. I think even at the point of contact right there with Kenny Clark, he has enough for the first down. Just no wrap-up whatsoever. Just comes in with a shoulder, big body on him. But Darrell Williams, he's a tough physical runner. Mahomes, quick throw, pass caught. Hill is back. And he's got 10. First down for Kansas City as he was working on Rasul Douglas. We understand Eric Stokes, the rookie, starting corner, hurt his knee during warm-ups. He's questionable to play. They're glad they get Kevin King back. Delayed handoff. Here's Williams again. And on first down, a gain of seven. Jonathan Garvin on the tackle for Green Bay. Well, and I do think that this is going to be the key for Kansas City. We have done games going back to last year against Buffalo when they played nothing but shell coverage. And the Chiefs ran for about 250 yards that night. They did again this year against the Eagles. I think they they can't be so stubborn they're not willing to run the ball when they're getting the looks that are conducive to it. Bobble on the handoff, but a first down as Williams takes it to the 20 gain of seven so this is a nice drive they've come out on early downs first downs they've thrown the football but they've picked up the first down on the ground and now they're running it the last couple of times with it and i like this group and the things that they're able to do running the ball they don't run it often but when they do they've been effective this year three rookies starting up front with the center Humphrey, the right guard Trey Smith, and Lucas Niang, who opted out last year. Second straight start at right tackle. Mahomes throws it away. Let's go to Carissa Thompson standing by with a game break. Thank you, Joe. Due to NFL rules, some of you guys didn't get to see the ending of this game. Tied at 31 in OT. Justin Tucker's 36-yard field goal attempt is good. Ravens improved to 6-2. and two. Joe. Carissa, we will see the Ravens on Thursday in a visit to Miami on Thursday Night Football. Second and ten here in Kansas City. Williams right side. And a nice tackle is made by Chris Barnes. Filled the hole. And a gain of only one. That's a great job by Chris Barnes. You're totally right, Joe. The movement up front with the offensive line, you're going to see what Darrell Williams sees as he gets through this. The offensive line does an excellent job with the hole there. But Chris Barnes, number 51, he just feels it the way a linebacker should. And like you said, just a minimal game. So third and nine. Tenth play of this drive. Mahomes over the middle. Hill 
Flag down on the play, and Hill looks to be just short of first down yardage before the call. As he's tackled by Douglas. Holding. Defense. Number 29. Five-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. And they're doubling up Tyreek Hill. He sees a lot of that. There's the grab on the left arm. Also has Adrian Amos over the top. But when you're running those kinds of routes and those short underneath breakers, you know, you can put three guys over there. It's, it's not going to work. So he's able to pick up the first down and a big third down conversion it was. Yeah, they get it by the penalty on the defensive hole. Here's a little push. Hardman. Forced out by Douglas again of four. If you're just joining us, the Kansas City Chiefs won the coin toss and deferred. So that meant an early look at Jordan Love. His first NFL start here in Kansas City, a notoriously tough place to play. Packers went three and out on offense, and this is the first possession for the Chiefs, and they have been impressive so far. Yes, they have, and, and this is where these games come down to. Who's able to come away with touchdowns in the red zone? The Chiefs have struggled down here, and the Packers have as well defensively. Mahomes, good protection underneath. Pass is caught by Robinson. And Demarcus Robinson forced out with a gain of two by Devondre Campbell, who is playing the best of his career after four years in Atlanta, one year in Arizona. And he's been all over the place for the Packer defense. Well, two weeks ago against Washington, the Packers held the Washington football team out of the end zone. They were 0 for 4 in the red zone. Last week against Arizona, the Cardinals were 3 for 4. It's the only times this year that Green Bay has held anybody out of the end zone in the red zone. So this is a big third down right here for the Packers defensively. Williams gets it. Bounces off and picks up the first down to the 1. Good tough running by Darrell Williams for six. First and goal. Oh, it was so good because initially I think it was Preston Smith who was out there on the edge. Couldn't tell exactly who it was. No, it was Sean Gary. But he once he goes back inside, had he have stayed up the field, he was in a great position. Williams isn't able to bounce that then outside. But once Rashawn Gary came underneath, which he has a tendency to do at times and allow the escape, on the edge and Darrell Williams with some good tough running he's had a few tough runs here in this opening possession Lucas Niang is getting assistance to walk off as Andrew Wiley will take over out at right tackle so Niang who started the first five games at right tackle gave way to Mike Remmers Remmers is not available inactive with a knee injury, and now it's Andrew Wiley at right tackle. Fourth year player from Eastern Michigan. First and goal with the ball sitting at the one. Didn't get it. See who delivered that hit underneath. As both Chris Barnes and TJ Slayton combined on the stop. And Williams, once he was hit, didn't go anywhere. It was right here that came up and filled the hole. Yep, Barnes again. It's a really nice job of him just coming up, plugging the hole. Another handoff and another stop. Campbell made this one. Now third and goal. Yeah, Devondre Campbell right here in the middle. He, he steps up. This time it's his turn to take the load. This front doing an outstanding job. The linebackers really playing physical downhill football. Here for the Packers. 15th play of this drive. On, 
Mahomes flips, pass, caught. Kelsey, touchdown, Kansas City. Kelsey's the one right here as he's moving across, and then he gets lost. They just totally blow the coverage and turn him loose. That's what some of that motion does, and then when you have multiple tight ends. But nice job there on third down, being able to get that in for Kansas City. What a first possession for the Chiefs. They've been looking for more of these. Took almost eight minutes off the clock. 15 play 64 yard drive Kelsey up to get it his fifth of the year 7-0 Chiefs at home It's got to be the best smelling parking lot around the yeah. National Football League here in Kansas City where their Chiefs are up seven to nothing on an impressive first possession as they marched it down the field and took almost eight minutes off the clock and for Travis Kelsey in the red zone this year seven targets seven catches four touchdowns and he has his 53rd career touchdown reception and Butker is going to ask for help Mike Hughes will have the unenviable task of holding that ball on the tee. <laughs> yeah, I never liked it. It sounds like you didn't like doing that either. No. <laughs> Into the end zone it goes and out to the 25. And let's check in for the first time today with Aaron Andrews. Jordan Love said his first thought when Aaron Rodgers was ruled out was, wow, I'm the starter. I didn't know when the opportunity would come to me. He said, my mindset coming into this is I'll tell myself I'm a great player. I'm ready for this. My confidence is at an all-time high. Joe, speaking of high, so is the seat that his mother Anna is sitting in. Now, these are the away team's appointed seats. She hasn't missed a game since he was a redshirt freshman at Utah State, and you know she didn't want to miss today. She watches her son's second possession start at the 25. He hands off to A.J. Dillon. And A.J. is just short of first down yardage. We were really impressed with Dillon and Jones. Obviously, he's impressive every week, but A.J. Dillon in that win a week ago Thursday in Arizona well he's gonna need the same kind of performance tonight because when you've got a, a quarterback making his first start and Kansas City knows this they're stacking the line of scrimmage but they have to be able to run the football and as you said AJ Dillon he was physical he was able to break tackles he looked as good as I've seen him on Thursday night and there he is again right up the gut down near the 49 as Tyron Matthew delivered the hit, but Dillon carries it for 14 yards. And a big part of it is this offensive line and the holes that they're able to create. They really created a lot of movement against the Cardinals, and what a great job by A.J. Dillon there of seeing the hole, putting his foot in the ground, and getting north and south. You know, a lot of people, it doesn't matter if they put an extra defender in the box. If the extra defender isn't in a position to make a play, then it doesn't matter. So a lot of teams sometimes shy away from running the football. The Packers will remain committed. Pass underneath and the completion to Devontae Adams, who's fighting for first down yardage, and he might be inches short. But either way, a completion of 9-9 nine, nine plus on first down. Well, they put Devontae Adams in the slot, and then that draws Tyron Matthew, and it's a pretty good look at what Devontae Adams is able to do. That's good coverage by Tyron Matthew, but I know that last week was one thing, trying to game plan when you're without three of your top four wide receivers, but at least you have Aaron Rodgers, a Hall of Famer at quarterback. This game, you get your receivers the back. Made the line the game, first down. We're going to give them the first down. This, this game, you get your receivers back, 
but now you're having to manage the game plan because of Jordan Love. So uh, two games in a row now for, for Matt LaFleur trying to manage this roster as best he can. Here's Dylan. Stacked up at the line. Gets one. Saturday, Big 12 contenders square off in the big noon Saturday game of the week. Eighth-ranked Oklahoma faces off with number 12, Baylor. It all starts with a big noon kickoff crew live from Waco at 10 a.m. Eastern. All part of big noon Saturday on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Second down and nine. They split A.J. Dillon down here. Well, there he goes back into the backfield. They had Ward on him, so that's nice for Green Bay if you're able to draw your best corner on a running back. This one just dropped off. Nice catch by Dillon, and now rumbling down inside the 25. Love just kind of shot put it to A.J. Dillon, but he made a nice catch and gets 15. He really did. This is not easy at all, especially someone the size of A.J. Dillon, but... I tell you, you mentioned how good he was Thursday night. Was really impressive. And what he's already done here in this game, that catch, the run that we've seen, we're, we're seeing A.J. Dillon, you know, come into his own and be the player that they hoped that he would be when they drafted him. Right after they drafted Jordan Love. 41 yards on this drive for A.J. Dillon. Here's Jones bouncing off one tackle. And he ends up getting three. And a couple of players are banged up. As Bolton and Hitchens combined on that stop. It looks like Legereus Sneed is going to exit. Well, they just got Charvarius Ward back a few weeks ago. And Legereus Sneed now leaving. See what his status is. But... They had a revolving door at corner opposite of Steve during that stretch of games that Ward was missing, and it didn't go so well. Rashad Fenton takes the spot of Steve for at least one. Second and seven. Jones carries nothing, lost a yard. Frank Clark got through. Third and long coming up. Kansas City is disguising their coverages as best they can, but they, on that play, played two deep safeties, and I don't know if that was a true read or a handoff all the way. But if it was the read option, with Clark crashing the way that he did, that was one that loved could have and should have kept. For Spagnolo, he likes to dial some things up down here. And incomplete. Frank Clark was coming off the edge absolutely unblocked. And that play had no chance, so Love basically threw it away. Yeah, when Frank Clark came in off the edge with his hands up and Jordan Love was he's right in the throwing lane then right here is Frank Clark number 55 he's right in the lane and it was going to be a high ball either way. Crosby out to try a 40 yarder on this gusty day in Kansas City and they say this is the direction that is giving the kickers the most trouble with this win today. So the young quarterback with a lot of help from A.J. Dillon gets him in position for points. And Crosby misses for the fifth time this year. Still 7-0 Kansas City. Punter Corey Bohorquez got an earful from Mason Crosby on their way off the field after Bohorquez didn't really spin the laces all the way away from the right foot of Crosby who pulled that field goal of 40 yards left. 
New long snapper, by the way, for Green Bay. First NFL game, Steven Wordle delivered the snap. Looked like that part of it was okay. Here's a pass to Kelsey incomplete from Patrick Mahomes and Tom Rinaldi. What was Patrick's reaction to hearing that Rodgers wasn't playing in this game? Joe disappointed. That was the word he used to summarize his initial reaction when he found out that Rodgers wasn't going to play. The last time we faced him, I was out with an injury, Mahomes told us. I watched him a lot growing up. I really admired him. I feel like we have a very similar style. Of course, that disappointment will be cushioned, guys, with a win here over Green Bay, regardless of the quarterback. Yeah, I think deep down he might have been okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> Second and ten. Mahomes finds his running back, and Williams brought down by Clark after a catch and run of seven. And we are coming down to the end of a fast-moving first quarter here in Kansas City. Yes, it is. We'll see whether or not Kansas City wants to run another play. My guess is they will and not run this down, sure enough. When you're as explosive as Kansas City is, you want to get off as many plays as possible. They have only three three and outs all year. By far the fewest in the NFL through eight weeks. And McKinnon is wrapped up. What a tackle made by Oren Burks. And he is short of first down yardage. As we wind down quarter number one, what a tackle by Burks. Fourth year player from Vanderbilt. And that effort forces fourth down. Back after this from your local Fox station. We start the second and after initially sending out the punt team, I think there was some politicking going on down there on the sideline. Andy Reid sends his offense back out there. They've already converted one fourth and one. On their own side of the field, they go for it again. On, Andy. Mahomes throws, pass, caught. Defense makes a play. Darnell Savage, exactly what the Packers needed with their young quarterback as they give him a short field on a fourth down stop. A loss of two. Well, first of all, what a great job by Patrick Mahomes getting this ball out. I mean, he's got Gary right in his face, and he delivers a strike. But Darnell Savage, for him to come from where he was and make a play and keep him short of the first down, just a tremendous effort by him. That's great work defensively by Green Bay. And we talked about it up here, Joe. You've got Jordan Love making his first start. Don't you just pin him down in there deep defensively. But I think there's another thing at play here, and it's how ineffective Kansas City has been offensively that they're trying to get their stride as well. So I think that had more to do with them going for it. Here's Jones. And what an effort by Aaron Jones. Initially bottled up, but then bounced off a couple of tackles and picked up seven. And after missing that 40-yard try, the Packers get the ball right back. Yeah, they get the ball right back in, in a good position, you know, to be able to run the football and mix things up, especially if they're able to stay ahead of the chains. I thought that's what they did such a good job of in that game Thursday night, was just not getting into a lot of third and longs with the depleted wide receiver core. Jones gets to the edge first down plus a couple of seven yard runs on this possession by Jones and a quick first down well I mentioned how Kansas City was trying to disguise the looks and you've got Tyron Matthew right here he's trying to show that if they're gonna stay up there and maybe rotate to a single high but he's backing out they're, they're playing a lot more shell coverage than what I expected but Jordan Love has not been fooled by it. He has stayed with the running game, hasn't checked out of any. Now, he doesn't have quite the same kind of freedom as Aaron Rodgers does at the line of scrimmage, but they've been right in how they've executed it. Toss to Jones, running right. Now running left. And brought down from behind. Fenton in on the stop, along with Snead, a loss of two. Throwing the ball here early for Jordan Love. Overwhelmed is certainly not, that's too harsh of a word, but 
he looks a little jittery here at the start. Eventually, he's going to have to settle down and make some throws. Well, no question. I mean, he's he, in any game, right? The quarterback has to be able to make some plays, but there's no doubt. You're seeing it right, Joe, that when he has thrown, it, 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 he's not been comfortable. He's aiming the ball. He's a little, little tight. You can only imagine all the emotions that he's feeling. That'll be a false start. False start. Offense number 70. Five-yard penalty. Second down. It's a rookie right guard, Royce Newman. On the left, sure enough. And then, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't help. I mean, when you're trying to now, you know, Jordan Love, they're going to try to call something, but that that allows them the opportunity to possibly pick up this first down. But even trying to get something that turns this into a manageable third down, Jordan Love just, I'm, I'm sure it's been ingrained in his head all week to be smart. Corrals that snap, and somehow Dylan makes the catch as Matthew almost flashed in front for the interception. And Matthew had nothing but green grass out in front of him, a gain of five. Well, not a great route by A.J. Dillon. So Tyron Matthew never gets threatened. First of all, Jordan Love, now you got snaps that are throwing the quarterback off. But Tyron Matthew broke on that the entire way because Dillon just kind of rounded out of that break. And really fortunate. Of course, Dillon stays with it and makes the catch. Third down and 12. Love over the middle. Adams makes the catch. Brought down short of first down yardage by Sneed. And it's fourth down again. And the field goal unit comes on for the Packers. Well, Steve Spagnolo, the defensive coordinator, he, he brings six. They got a free rusher. Ben Neiman is right there in his face. And just a ball if it's out a little bit more in front of Devontae Adams where he doesn't have to slow up just a touch in order to pull that in. Maybe he can make a run for the first, but nice job, Jordan Love, getting it to him. 37-yard try. Again, and this one's blocked. Alex Okafor got through. The laces weren't turned, and this one is blocked by Okafor, who went right around Dennis Kelly and got it with his right hand. Still 7-0 Kansas City, second quarter. On Fox. At this level, the long snappers are so good, they know how many revolutions the ball will take when they snap it on a kick. This one was high from Steven Wirtle, his first NFL game. But Jorquez had trouble catching it, didn't spin it. And then Okafor got through and blocked it. Thirteenth time that Crosby's been blocked in his long, distinguished career. And that's tied with Robbie Gold for the most among active kickers. Here's a six-yard carry by Derek Gore. Over the left side is this... Third possession starts with that run for Kansas City. Second block of the year. Here's Hardman. First down. Ball comes out, but they're going to say forward progress stopped. The forward progress was stopped at the 31 yard line. Got first down. As Kevin King made the tackle and since they called forward progress being stopped it is not reviewable yeah that's what they're saying to Matt LaFleur now over there on the sidelines you know the big concern for LaFleur coming into this game with the snapper was was protection and th th this is just not the game to have these kind of mechanic problems in the kicking game when you've just given up the potential six points Pass to Hill, caught. First down as Douglas made the stop, and Rasul Douglas has seen a lot of Tyreek Hill already. Yeah, he's one-on-one -on -one here, and with the speed that Tyreek Hill has, you can see how that threatens Rasul Douglas. Coming off a huge game against Arizona with the game 
game-winning interception at the end, but you, you've got to respect Tyreek Hill going by you, and when you don't have a safety over the top, you, you can bet you're going to stay over the top of it, and it opens up then those kinds of routes for Tyreek Hill for big games. Mahomes with all day. Launches. Hardman incomplete. Crowd wants a flag, and they're not going to get it. Well, I'm not sure exactly what Patrick Mahomes is looking at because the coverage down the field, there was never anything downfield. Meanwhile, he's got Ty, he's got Travis Kelsey right here. You're going to see him. Kelsey walked off the field wondering why he didn't get the ball. I mean, there's nobody around him. He's just waiting for it to come. You can see what Patrick Mahomes saw. There's two defenders down there. And, you know, there. so the, some of the frustration that Kansas City is feeling is those aren't throws that Mahomes didn't make in years past. They just were able to make plays on those. Incomplete for Kelsey here. As Savage got his hands in there and helped knock it away. And then this year, some of the times when they're trying to make those big plays down the field, because this offense feeds on those, they just haven't been able to make them. And then oftentimes those throws have been intercepted. And you see the difference in the 15-plus yard attempts from last year to this year with a quarterback rating at the bottom. And now, as a result, third and ten. Fires and Hill had slipped. Fourth down. Well, Rasul Douglas is fortunate that Tyreek Hill slipped and that he also didn't go deep because, again, Rasul Douglas was not getting any help and Hill got past him. So they were fortunate. I, I you know, we, we mentioned that Eric Stokes left the game. That's a pretty significant lost the way that he's been playing he's given up some big plays but he's a competitive guy against this group you need all of them this one's gonna check up inside the five off the foot of tommy townsend and the first chiefs punt of the game for 54 yards and they are going to mark it at the two as jordan loves backed up down seven Hey, gather around, everybody. It's the first ever AFL-NFL World Championship game, now known as Super Bowl One. A ticket to the Coliseum in Los Angeles set you back a whole 12 bucks. You could have shown up that day, and if you had 12 bucks, you're in. In a world before streaming, there were just three TV networks. The game aired on two, CBS and NBC. And before Bruno Mars and U2 and Prince, they had guys flying around in jetpacks. Bart Starr was the game's MVP for the pack, who earned a winning share of $15,000 each for defeating the Chiefs 35-10. to 10. Well, going into that championship weekend last year, this was the matchup that I think most football fans expected to see in the Super Bowl a year ago. Instead, Tampa Bay got the win at Lambeau and beat the Chiefs in Super Bowl 55. Now Jordan Love is backed up. He keeps. He throws. And breathing room and a first down as A.J. Dillon rumbles across the 20 to the 23. Picks up 21. He showed some poise there on that, that play. Jordan Love, these are some of the things that he does well. I mean, just buying himself a little bit of time. But rather than force something down the field, good coverage by Kansas City. Yeah, he's able to get outside the pocket, seems pretty relaxed, and puts the ball on Dillon, and that gives Matt LaFleur over there on the sidelines calling plays a sigh of relief, knowing that he can open things up just a little bit more on that play sheet. Special teams a big factor in the first half. That punt that pinned him down at the two. A missed field goal, a blocked field goal. Love out to his right. Runs a defender as he stayed away from Wharton. And Tershawn Wharton couldn't get to him before Jordan Love picked up eight. What are you noticing about 
the sideline for the Packers, Aaron Andrews. Well, I think, you know, everybody we talked to about Jordan Love said he's a really, really calm guy. But, Troy, you've been mentioning, how can you not be nervous? There's been a good amount of discussions over here on the sidelines. He was talking to Devontae Adams for a while. Matt LaFleur, he doesn't look like he's nervous, but everybody definitely has his ear on the sidelines to kind of just hone him in, you know, try to relax him if you can. It's second down and two. They hand it Jones, and he's got a first down. You know, it becomes a hard thing if you're a teammate of Jordan Love's because you, you want to be supportive. You want to talk to him. The offense is struggling a little bit, but you don't want to give him too much information, and you don't know really how exactly he's feeling. And, you know, Matt LaFleur is, is going through that as well as the play caller, and uh, there was a lot of unknowns. One is how is he going to play, but how is he going to handle some of these things emotionally? This is his first time to go through it, and their first time to see him go through it. So it's all new for everyone involved. Pass is incomplete and a flag for coverage on Devontae Adams by Ward. It, it, man. Pass interference, defense. Yeah, there it Number is. 35. Here. Well, we place that spot in the foul, automatic first down. It, it looked from here like there was pass interference. Initially, the official didn't call it. Then it came in a little bit late. But on that first look on the replay, it didn't appear that he did too much. But then you saw the hook and turn and a nice call. Takes the ball out to the 41. A.J. Dillon back in the game for Green Bay. They fake it to him, and Love steps through. Little stiff arm we've seen a couple of times, a gain of three. We'll check in with Carissa Thompson with a game break. Thanks, Joe. Cardinals up 7-0 on the Niners. Colt McCoy in for the injured Kyler Murray. Hands it off to James Conner, who does the rest. His second of the day, 10th of the season. Cardinals rolling up 14-0. Joe. Carissa, thanks. Matt LaFleur told us he doesn't want Jordan Love to be a robot. He told him, trust what you see and play the play. Indecisive equals ineffective. And easy to say leading into the game and now trying to put that into practice on second and seven. Dylan with hands on him in the backfield. Melvin Ingram. A longtime Charger and short-time Pittsburgh Steeler on Thursday night. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens coming off their win against the Dolphins. They won as well. It all starts at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on Fox NFL Network and streaming on Prime Video. Third down and six. Packers 0 for 3 on third down so far. And they've all been six yards or longer. Love, sideline, Adams, incomplete with Ward in coverage. Fourth down. Ben Neiman had pressure on Jordan Love. Yeah, this is Devontae Adams really playing defense, just trying to keep Ward from being able to intercept that pass. It's underthrown, not able to put it up there where maybe Devontae Adams can go make a play on it. Steve Spagnolo, he has not hesitated to come after Jordan Love. He's mixed coverages up actually very well on early down looks, but on a lot of these third downs, he's brought extra rushers. Well, they're having all kinds of special teams trouble. They only had 10 men out there. And the guys on the field had to call to the sideline that they needed somebody else, and it's Dylan who comes on late. But Jorquez hits it. Hardman lets it go over his head and into the end zone. Not a first half that the special teams and Maurice Drayton will be happy with here in Kansas City, but still a 7-0 game as the Chiefs will take over at their 20. Patrick Mahomes has thrown 10 interceptions, lost two fumbles through eight games this season. He had 11 interceptions over the previous two years combined. And in 2018, he threw 12 interceptions, but had 50 touchdowns through the air and route to winning the MVP award in his first year as a starter. In this game, he's at 3.1 yards per attempt. The big play still missing. 
They're looking for one here. There's a lot of contact. And Tyree killed the target with Chandon Sullivan in coverage. <laughs> and Hill was overthrown. Yeah, Chandon Sullivan, he's looking around saying, hey, where was the flag on offensive pass interference? Hill grabbed him before then and then the, the hit there at the end of the play. But I like that the officials are letting him go. But you're right, Joe, to go back to your point that under Mahomes as the starter, they've done a good job. You think of all the big plays, a lot of teams that are high risk like that, then they they have the, the turnovers as well, along with the big plays. That hasn't been the case with the Chiefs. Darrell Williams is good for three, so third down coming up here. Remember, they're playing this rest of this half, and who knows, maybe the rest of the game without... Lucas Niang, who's out with a rib injury. Andrew Wiley is more of a guard, played right tackle in the Super Bowl, part of that makeshift offensive line. When Mitchell Schwartz and Eric Fisher were out with injuries, and Todd Bowles and the Bucks defense went to work. Free play. Mahomes is picked. Doesn't matter. Amos makes the interception. As Oren Burks came across prior to the snap. And the interception by Amos will not count. It'll still be third down. Offside. Defense. Five-yard penalty. We play third down. It's not just in this game, though, with regard to yards per attempt. Mahomes at 7.3 per attempt. That's a career low. So it's just still off. Oh, no, it's definitely off. I mean, last year they were second in the league in big plays, completions of over 20 yards. And, and this year they're they're 12th. And they just... And so what happens for an offense that, that is so used to getting the big plays down the field, when you don't get them, you start to get frustrated. And, and that's what's happened. And then they've had the turnovers on top of that. I, I don't think that Patrick Mahomes has been as sharp either with the accuracy of his throws and seeing the field the way that he typically does. Here's Gore. And he didn't get it. It's going to be fourth down as Gary and Smith combine to make the stop. Well, this defense has shown up. I mean, they've made some big stops here, and this one was critical here with time winding down in the half. The Chiefs get the ball to start the second half, and the last thing that LaFleur or Jordan Love can have is them down by multiple scores at the intermission. And so the Chiefs... Look like they will not go for a third, fourth, and one on their own side of the 50 here in the first half. They punt with Townsend. The rookie will stay away. Did that hit the Green Bay player? And it, they're saying touchback. That's the signal. As Chris Lamont's recovered and so the call on the field is that did not hit the Green Bay Packer player that was falling well when the guy gets it though he wasn't in the end zone was he when he let's see when he the defender gets a hold of this that's Malik Taylor was stumbling backward and the officials are gathering at the 10 the ruling on the field was the ball was not touched in the field of play, therefore, touchback. The crowd is going to beg Andy Reid to challenge this. And it would have to be challenged. It looks like it caught the left foot of Taylor and the challenge flag has been thrown by Andy Reid. After review the ball did hit the receiver's foot and therefore recovered by Kansas City at the nine yard line. It will be Kansas City's ball first and goal at the 10 
Kenzini would not be charged a timeout or a challenge. So it was never going to be a touchback, even though that's what they initially ruled on the field, and you can't advance the muffed punt. But LeMans was there for Kansas City after it hit the foot of Malik Taylor. And even though he said that it's Kansas City's ball at the 9, they just put it down at the 10. But the special teams day for the Green Bay Packers has been an absolute nightmare, and somehow it just got worse. Yeah, that's the phase of this game where Green Bay had to win or at least push. And, you know, it, it would be a 7-6 game if they make both of those field goals. And the Packers would have possession of the ball. So right now they've really dug themselves a hole, and we'll see whether or not this defense can get themselves out of it. Kansas City gains 51 yards of field position as the handoff goes to Darrell Williams, who takes it to the four. Devondre Campbell there for Green Bay. So you need all these other phases to go right. Joe Barry's defense, Barry took on a lot of heat early in the season as Kenny Clark is slow to get off the field. But his defense has played well, and it's played well here today, giving the Packers a chance while Jordan Love tries to settle in. But the special teams has been the phase of the game that's really let down Matt LaFleur. Yeah, and I think Thursday night against Arizona when they won that game, a lot, so much was made of the fact that they were without, you know, three of their top four receivers that there wasn't enough attention paid to just how good that defense was. They forced three takeaways in that game. That's something that they've done good, done very well all year long. They need to come up with one here, but it's hard to hold this group down. They've been doing their part keeping the offense in it while they've struggled but the as you said special teams just a total collapse here in the first half Jack Heflin a rookie takes the spot vacated by Kenny Clark second and goal and the Chiefs call a timeout second and goal when we come back Actually, check that two-minute warning here in Kansas City. Come back to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. Second down and goal for the Chiefs. They're trying to get to five and four in a division that saw the Raiders lose at the Giants today. The fall to five and three. Top team in the division. Here's a pass caught. Ball is out. Packers have it. And we'll wait for the official word. It belongs to Green Bay. Hartman had it. Savage knocked it out. Let's take another look. It's close. I didn't know if he actually had it. Yeah, I don't think he ever had it. Possession of the ball, but that is such a great job by Savage coming up and pass. making a play on that, being physical. I mean, he was going nowhere, but they've already stepped in and said, yeah, that was an incomplete pass. So that's the video assistant. Such a great addition for 2021 who saw that and immediately buzzed down and said, no, no catch. So it's third and goal. This would be huge if Green Bay defensively given the ball to this offense down here in the red zone, even with all the struggles that they've had. Green Bay has had a lot more in this area of the field if they're able to make a stop on third down and force a field goal. Now they're going to switch footballs. Kenny Clark just went to the locker room after leaving following the first and goal play. And now third down and goal. And a timeout taken by the Packers. On defense. That's the first time out of this half, and we'll be right back after this from Progressive. Progressive presents At Home with Baker Mayfield. Really appreciate you stepping into house sit. Everything should be pretty straightforward. Here's the keys. Let me show you inside. So each heater's on its own power grid, so you're just gonna have to throw the breakers each night. Tuesday's trash day. Just pull the dumpsters out the night before. Do you like dogs? There are dogs? It's a whole section of them. If you're gonna leave, remember to set the alarm. The code is six. 
Just six. Just leads us into talking about the Browns and the big win they had today over Cincinnati. 41 to 16. Chubb had 137 yards, two touchdowns, and Baker Mayfield, two touchdowns, no picks. Third down and goal. Kelsey. Circled by Troy. Mahomes throws underneath. Williams doesn't get it. And what a half for Chris Barnes. What a hit he laid on Williams. You don't see this very often anymore in the NFL. When a guy has the ball and he's going to the pylon, a hit that just stops him in his tracks. This is such a great job by Chris Barnes. Yeah, he's had a great half. Really, this defense as a whole has had a great first half here today. This is impressive play by Chris Barnes. And another fourth down try coming from the Chiefs. They're one for two. I think they got some movement on Kansas City up front that's going to back them up, which probably means they'll settle for three points. Oh, false start. Offense number 31. How about that? Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. So that was just before timeout was called, the false start. And Sean Smith stayed with that penalty. And the field goal unit comes on. It's against... Williams in the backfield. Well, and you as, as, as confident right now as this Packers defense is, I, I'm, I'm not so sure that they find this to be a positive. You know, they go for it on fourth down. Maybe they shut them out and they don't give up any points at all. 24-yard try by Butker. Drills it. And it's a 10-0 game. A minute 51 left in the half. Young Jordan Love will take over. Trying to run the two-minute drill with his team down by 10. This turns out to be a four-point save by Chris Barnes, who's already got five tackles in the half, none bigger than that. Just a great play by him, and, and if they don't get the false start on the Chiefs, and it, maybe it's a seven-point play, but just terrific work by him. We've seen him earlier fill the gap inside make some big time plays in the middle and none bigger than that one there yeah the muff punt gave kansas city the ball first and goal at the 10 unable to punch it in butker kicks it taylor from inside the five out to the 22 and let's find out what's coming our way at halftime. Coming up on the Verizon Halftime Show, we are live from the U.S. Naval Academy, and we've got highlights from an exciting Week 9, including a booming finish in both Baltimore and New Orleans. More you can do, right? It's all coming up on the Verizon Halftime. Great pregame show, Fox NFL Sunday from Annapolis today. First down and 10 from the 22 for Jordan Love. Good protection, Love out to his right. And this one up for grabs and somehow caught by Randall Cobb. Not pretty, but effective. And 30-plus yards to start the possession. Yeah, not pretty at all. These are some of the throws that got him in trouble in preseason. Was putting it up like that, but Randall Cobb able to shield the defender enough and make a play for a big game. 35 yards. Pass is underthrown and is caught by Cobb as Jordan Love continues to struggle with ball placement, a gain of just one. Yeah, that would have been better incomplete. So taking time off the clock and, and very little to show for it. And the way that they're kind of huddling up here with, with Jordan Love, just how comfortable is he in this no-huddle offense? Packers have not been shut out in the first half in almost two years. As Love will go down inside the 40. And despite having two timeouts, the clock continues to run, and now they'll take a timeout. 
called a timeout, and it looked like that LaFleur would be, would be calling, they would be getting the call in to Jordan Love rather than him taking control of the wheel at the line of scrimmage. There's a 35-yard completion to Cobb that got this possession going. Such a great job by Randall Cobb, being able to make a play for his quarterback. Those are the things that you've got to be able to do. Cobb hasn't done as much this year as I anticipated him when he came in, when he got picked up, but had a big game against Arizona. Two red zone touchdowns, a nice job. Obviously someone that Aaron Rodgers has tremendous confidence in. But right now, you're looking at it. Here we are, third down. But if they're able to put themselves in a position to tighten this thing up, make it a one-possession game, that, that would sure do a lot for Jordan Love going in at halftime. They have one timeout left, third down and five. Pass is behind Devontae Adams. Had him open and missed him. Well, they got what they wanted. They got Legereus Sneed one-on-one -on, -one on their best player, Devontae Adams, and just, you know, he's just been off the mark on his throws, really, the entire first half. Looks like they're going to pass on what would be a 56-yard field goal try after having a miss from 40 and a block from 37. Can't say I blame him. Play clock is down to eight. Fourth and five. They need to get lined up. And now they have to spend their final time out with the clock stopped. We'll be right back after this from State Farm. And of course, here we have the State Farm Wall of Fame. Nice. <laughs> Terry, what are you doing? Come on, Jake from State Farm. First you give him Rogers Ray, then the Patrick Price. What about the Bradshaw budget? You know I want a bunch of rings, right? I've had one heck of an acting career. Terry, State Farm. And I recorded five country albums. State Farm offers great rates to fit anyone's budget. There's the shot right there. Do we mention the hair? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. So they had to burn the timeout, and Matt LaFleur is over on the sidelines having to tell Jordan Love to come over to the sidelines so they could talk. Even after calling the timeout, Love was staying in the huddle. So he's a, he's a little out of sorts right now. As LaFleur jogging in the background, pass is incomplete for Adams. Looking for one of those back shoulder throws, it appears at least Love was, but Adams was going upfield. Sorensen with pressure, and the Chiefs take over on downs. Well, think about it, too, that Devontae Adams was not able to even practice until Friday. So they had work in the OTAs, but not really any to speak of this week. And you can't replace all the time that he and Aaron Rodgers have had in the task on that throw. 10-0, Chiefs have it. All of their timeouts left. Since Aaron Rodgers took over in 08, the Green Bay Packers are 133, 64-1. 6-11-1 without him. Averaging seven points per game less than when he's available. Shut out here in the first half so far as Mahomes and Tyree Kill cannot connect. The Packers have had the ball five times. They've punted, then the missed field goal, the blocked field goal, a punt, and now have turned it over on downs. 22 seconds left, second and 10 for the Chiefs who get the ball to start the second half. And the Chiefs, as we see, they've got three timeouts left. They need about 30 yards, and if they get that, it sets them up for about a 50-yard field goal. So not out of the question, certainly, with 22 seconds, but the three timeouts gives them plenty of time. No flag. Mahomes finds Kelsey who is able to get out of bounds at the end of that play at the 38. Good for 24 yards. Yeah, the outside corner, so they're playing zone inside. They turn him loose, and then he's able to get into that soft zone area that just was totally voided. Nobody then runs with Kelsey from the other side of the field on the deep crosser. Well, Kelsey just has such a great feel for finding that weakness in a defense, and he and Mahomes have been on... Well, they've been rolling for a long time now. Well, you start playing man concepts within zone coverages and things of that nature, and, and sometimes you leave yourself exposed. But 
to turn a guy like Kelsey loose through the middle of your defense. Kansas City has to take a timeout now with the clock stopped as well. They're left with just two, 13 seconds left. Talked about the special teams issues for the Green Bay Packers, and it's been a rough first half. They had the 40-yard miss. Next time they had it, 37-yard try was blocked. Frustration from Mason Crosby. Then the ball that hit the foot of Malik Taylor right there. It set up the Chiefs for what would become a chip shot field goal. And it's 10-0. They put two seconds back on the clock here. 15 left in the half. Mahomes passes nearly picked by Kevin King. And after missing three games with a shoulder issue, he'll be thinking about this one at halftime. Well, he sure will, and, and maybe it, it won't come back to haunt him. Maybe they're able to make a play, and they don't give up any points here before the end of this half. But you know, what a great opportunity to just end this right here and just go in down 10 points. It would be a 55-yard field goal try from this spot. Mahomes incomplete for Daryl Williams. And now six seconds remain. Third down. You know, again, Travis Kelsey working in the middle of the field, and he's, you know, man coverage, and Mahomes just wanted the, the quick throw, but there really wasn't a whole lot there. You see Kelsey 87, and he's working the middle, and, you know, he's, he's getting a little frustrated himself. So a 55-yard try. It would be a season-long for Butker, his career-long 58. Windy day. And the field goal is good. And that missed interception by Kevin King cost the Packers three as Butker drills it from 55. Great job by Butker putting it through the uprights from that distance. We've talked about the wind being a factor in, in, in that direction. It's the same one that Mason Crosby missed. Here's the missed opportunity by Kevin King on the interception potentially. But good execution, something we haven't seen from Green Bay. Kansas City able to execute the field goal and put it through and extend their lead. One second left in the half. Again, Kansas City gets the ball to start the second half. And so far, the Packers really haven't shown the ability, at least through the air, to be able to move the ball with any consistency. That's got to change in the second half. Or this won't be close. It's Amari Rogers just basically ending the half. A flag now on the far side of the field. So we'll get the call from Sean Smith. Illegal formation. Receiving team number 22 was outside of the setup zone. That penalty's declined. This is the end of the half. So the Chiefs decline the penalty. It's 13 to nothing at the half. And the first half stats are brought to you by State Farm. Let's take a look at the quarterback comparison. And for Jordan Love, 7 of 13 for Patrick Mahomes. He's only thrown for 79 yards. And the quarterback rating in the 70s for both. But. All the Chiefs care about these days is the scoreboard. And according to that, the Chiefs are up 10-0 at the half. Rise in halftime coming up from Annapolis, Maryland. After this, from your local Fox station.
That was today's game flow brought to you by Progressive as we continue on from Kansas City, Missouri. Second half about to start. Welcome back to the booth. I'm Joe Buck. That's the Hall of Famer, Troy Aikman. And we'll just stick with Kansas City here for the moment offensively because they're about to get the ball. They're still struggling and still trying to find it. In fact, Jordan Love is thrown for more yardage than Patrick Mahomes has. That's hard to believe. It, well, it is hard to believe, and but I... I think the Packers defense has had a lot to do with it. I, I mean, I do know that they're still finding themselves. We've pointed out that Mahomes hasn't seen Kelsey, and he's missed some throws and, and all that. But the Packers defensively have really done a great job. And for them now, you look at it and say, what more do we have to do? Well, I think what they've done such a good job of all season long is creating takeaways. And they're going to need to give this offense a short field. But the special teams... They, they have to contribute. They, they can't be a negative like they were in that first half. Let's send it down to Aaron Andrews. Yeah, and I didn't even have to bring up special teams to Matt LaFleur. He told me in so many words, you guys need to get it together. When he was talking about his young quarterback, Jordan Love, he said, I actually think Jordan's doing okay. It's on third and fourth down that's killing us, and we need to play, make a play on that. Obviously, he talked about wanting to run the ball better here in the second half, and he did obviously mention, you know, Devontae and Jordan Love. They've just got it. They, the timing issue, and Troy, you and Joe talked about it. They haven't had any time together this week or at all. Yeah, Adams returned to practice on Friday, so they had three real sessions together in that one practice and do a walkthrough on Saturday, and then here they are on Sunday playing, and it shows. Josh Gordon, who was added in season and who has one catch as a Kansas City Chief, has it knocked away, and it's second down and 10. Yeah, to follow up on what Aaron said, the, the Packers are 0 for 5 on third down. So you're not going to win many games not converting on third down. The good thing, like we said, is this defense has done a good job as far as limiting the big plays and the points as best they can with Kansas City. Second down. This is Gore. Makes a move. And another crosses the 30, and we'll check in with Tom Rinaldi. Joe, talk to Andy Reid going in at halftime, pleased with the late field goal, but some frustration clearly offensively, saying we've shown we're able to move the ball, but have to find a way to get it in the end zone consistently. On defense, he said we're trying to give as many different looks as we can to Jordan Love while keying on the run game, knowing how important that is to a quarterback making his first start. Tom, thanks. Third down and four. Kenny Clark still not out there for Green Bay. And a sack with Sean Gary. This Packer defense is still playing. What an impressive showing today by Joe Barry's group. It's fourth down. Well, they only go with one down lineman on this look. They've got three linebackers. They've got the two rush edgers. They've got Preston Smith then in the middle. And they're able to get home and make a big play on third down. What a job by Green Bay defensively to open up this third quarter and make a three and out. Gary leads this team in sacks now up to four and a half. Really come on. Beautiful punt by Townsend. And a muff punt. Special teams nightmare. But the Packers have it as Rodgers is able to get back on top of it. Amari Rodgers, the rookie, third round pick from Clemson, is just able to get back on it. And the Packers will have it at their own 12, trailing by 13. Reese Drayton is working hard on that sideline trying to figure out how to put this special teams group back together. For Tommy Townsend, a season-long 63-yard punt. Three punts today, all have been down inside the 20, which makes it that much more difficult on Jordan Love. Play action. Love fires it into the ground and a flag is thrown late as you saw it come in 
It looked like Jones was close enough to it. Well, I don't think it's going to be on the. I don't think it's going to be intentional grounding, but they tackled Aaron Jones. I mean, it could be. This could go against Kansas City. See, they may pick up this flag. Who knows? There's no foul for offensive hold. Second down. And they take a holding off the board. A hold. You see Aaron Jones. He's looking at the official that. They're trying to run a, a, a middle screen there to Jones, uh, but off of play action. I think that's what LaFleur is talking about as well. I think that announcement, he corrected himself. It was a defensive hold that they picked up. And it's second and ten. That's why Matt LaFleur was so hot. Here's Dylan. He gets five. Mike Dana there for Kansas City. Well, here's that last play on the first down call that they picked up the flag. But because it was play action, that that's why he is then tackled by Derek Nottie and it's, and it's allowed. I think that's why the flag was thrown. The officials got together and talked about it. And had it not have been play action, then it's a penalty. So that's a good job of the officials getting it cleaned up. 0 for 5 on third down are the Packers third and 5. Oh, he wasn't ready for the snap. Flags on the play. There was illegal motion with Love moving forward illegal at the snap. Motion. Offense number 10. That penalty is declined. He's over the play. Fourth down. He was able to at least get on the loose football. But everything is disjointed for Green Bay. Yeah, and it, it affects everybody, of course. And, you know, it's hard. It's just the mechanics of getting plays run, and it, and everyone gets frustrated, and, and everybody is. I don't know if Jordan Love was walking up to change the play, change the protection, or take the ball from under center. It doesn't much matter. Lucas Patrick snapped it. Penalty declined. A loss of three. And Bohorquez hits it. Hardman muffs it. And he's able to get back on top of it inside the 25. 56-yard punt. A frustrating day for third-year head coach Matt LaFleur. And now starting quarterback Jordan Love, not able to get much going down 13. A little old and new for you. Some of the greatest players ever to play professional football played in Kansas City. From the 23, after the punt by Bohorquez, Gore! Able to just inch it across the 30 as he picks up eight. Derek Gore, who's in his fourth NFL game, had a nice night on Monday against the Giants. Look at the numbers over the last 11 quarters for Mahomes. Up by 13, but... Really still looking for traction on offense. Like plays like that, incomplete for Blake Bell. Let's go to Carissa with a game break. Thanks, Joe. Chargers trailing 17-16 in Philly. First and goal from the A. Justin Herbert says, I'll just keep this one myself. Two-point conversion good. Chargers up by seven. Joe? Hey, you look at this, Joe, here in this uh, on this possession. They, they run the ball on first down. They... they they ran the ball seven times on their first possession. They've run it now five times since. And one of those was first down here. They pick up eight yards, and then they throw it on second. Another third down opportunity, but I just wonder when they're going to commit to just running the football because they're running it well when they do. Here's one behind Kelsey, 
It's fourth down. So you pick up eight yards on first down, and then you throw two straight incompletions, and now it's a three and out, and you're punting the football. I mean, it, I, I'm not the guy who always beats the drum to run the ball like some people do. That's not me. Now, that's a ball that Kelsey, even though it's behind him, he has to make the play. You know, he hasn't been as sharp either, but I, I, it just is, is – I know it's frustrating for a lot of Chiefs fans as well that, that teams are playing these coverages, not giving up the big plays, and yet there's no commitment to running the ball, and yet they're good when they do it. Here's another chance for Amari Rodgers and a fair catch back at the 15-yard line. 55-yard punt. Townsend's had a nice day for Kansas City. There, some, that's positive. <laughs> Here's Love, down 13. <laughs> to a team like the Cleveland Browns, this is stunning. Quarterback start since 1992, including the postseason. Eight starting quarterbacks total, fewest in the NFL. Favre, 275. Aaron Rodgers, 218. And six other quarterbacks, 22, including Jordan Love and Hundley and Flynn and Mikowski, Tolzien, Seneca Wallace. That's it. And Jordan Love is trying somehow to put a drive together as he keeps here and completes to DeGuara. And a rare first down as Josiah DeGuara gets 11. And it's one thing to have the stability at quarterback for Favre and Rodgers to have played that many games. But it's been Hall of Fame play that they've given them consistently. I mean, that's... That's the best of both worlds, and it's a lot like what San Francisco enjoyed when they went from Joe Montana to Steve Young. That was the ninth first down of the game for Green Bay. Love takes off and tripped up. So it, it gets back then to Aaron Rodgers. And just to be clear, NFL players are not required to be vaccinated. He's on the COVID list. However, those who decline to be vaccinated are required to adhere to the enhanced protocols agreed to by the NFL Players Association. And that's what the investigation's about. But here they are, the Packers, having won seven in a row. Their defense is playing great. The Chiefs' offense is stumbling around. But they don't have Aaron Rodgers, they have Jordan Love making his first NFL start. And it looks like he's making his first NFL start. Second and three. Here's Dylan for a first down. Well, if they could get that part of the game going, that would sure help out Jordan Love because when you go back and you watch him in preseason, what he did well was the bootlegs, the, the play-action game, get the ball out quick. He struggled from the pocket. He made some good throws in that opener that we covered against New Orleans. But tonight, he's struggling. I don't think he's seeing the field very well at all, and there's no timing. He's not comfortable in the pocket. So if they can run the ball and then run some of the bootlegs and things off of that, the play-action, I mean, I think that's the direction right now Matt LaFleur is trying to go. Here is a toss to Dillon. Gets brought down by Legereus Sneed. A gain of three. Organizations are forced to sometimes make really big decisions without a lot of evidence before they make that decision. And that seems to be well, what's in the offing here for the Packers with the whole, this is the last dance yeah. with Aaron Rodgers, who knows. Yeah. And at some point, they're going to have to figure out if Jordan loves a guy. This will be part of the evidence. Second down and seven. Love is going backward and able to complete it somehow to Mercedes Lewis as he's back near the line of scrimmage. Well, I mean, that was a lot of work in order to get it back to the line of scrimmage, but it, at least he didn't take a sack. I'll follow up on what you said, Joe. When Aaron Rodgers came off the bench, his most significant playing time in replace of Brett Favre, it was on Monday night in Dallas. He lit it up. And the organization said after that, it was a big reason why they allowed Favre to leave. They felt they had something in Aaron Rodgers. So, fairly or unfairly, well, there's a lot of judgments being made 
on this performance, there's no question. Third down and eight. Blitz. Spagnolo brings everyone and they get home. Tyron Matthew. And he wasn't alone. A loss of 11. They blitz pretty much on every third down, and Jordan Love just doesn't see Tyron Matthew coming through. You've got Devontae Adams, who's one-on-one. -on -one. He's running a slant route. He's anticipating. He sees it clear out. He knows the blitz is coming, and he's expecting the ball to come into his hands, and, and Jordan Love just, he's not seeing it and doesn't know where, where he's expected to go with the ball, even if he did. Well, Horquez hits it. Hardman will let it bounce. And the punt by Bajorquez is good down to the nine. That's where Kansas City will have it. And not much is working for the Green Bay offense. Spagnolo bringing the heat, and they get home with Tyron Matthew. There's Kenny Clark. He is out. Injured late in the first half, a back injury, and Eric Stokes injured his knee during the warm-up, so he never did get into the ball game. He's out. T.J. Slayton, a rookie, fifth-round pick from Florida, takes Kenny Clark's spot. This drive starts at the nine, and on first down, it's Daryl Williams for seven. Will they stay with a run? Three and out drives for this Chiefs offense over the first eight games. They had three to lead the league for the fewest by a lot. Three today. Well, we just saw Kenny Clark on the sidelines. He's been out, you know, pretty much this entire game. It hasn't hurt Green Bay up to this point, but that's even more reason why you would run the ball. That's a big loss for Packers interior-wise. Here's Williams. He's a yard short of a first down as Slayton. The rookie makes that play. Time to look at today's top targets brought to you by Target. And not much. Tyree Kill, three catches, 24 yards. Devontae Adams, two catches, 16 yards. You know why that's the case for Devontae Adams. But it continues for Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill. Third down and one, they run it and get the first down. As Big Trey Smith lost his helmet, blocking for Darrell Williams. A gain of four after having six straight failed third down tries. Well, on Tyree Kill, he, he draws a lot of attention, so he's going to have two defenders most of the time travel where, wherever he is. They move him around, they put him inside, outside, they motion him, they try to do some things to disrupt some of that coverage that he draws. Here's Williams again. Flag comes in at the end of the play, actually two different flags. Creed Humphrey may have been guilty of a hold, and then a flag came out of the secondary. Holding. Offense number 52. 10-yard penalty. Replay, first down. That's on the center, Creed Humphrey. He's got a hold of Chris Barnes right underneath the shoulder pad there on the left. and they, When they have run the ball, for the most part, there's been some pretty good runs, pretty good lanes for them to run. The offensive line... It helps when you hold. But had he have cut back the other way, there was a nice lane the opposite side as, as well. Now first and 14, Williams tries that same side and pretty well bottled up. Chris Barnes was the first guy there, and then King followed in behind him a gain of just two. Yeah, that's the whole key. Kevin King, he comes in, and, and he is run support defender as the corner. And that's huge when you get corners like that that are willing to come up and make plays. He's going to come into the screen right there and help clean it up. See Barnes trying to punch the ball out, do something for this defense. They have 14 takeaways. And that'll be a false start on Kelsey. 
False start. Offense number 87. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Those 14 takeaways, they had 18 all of last year, and they're trying for something here to help out their offense. Yeah, they need something that just to, you know, I've been in those slumps offensively where you're struggling and you just can't get it going and it doesn't take much. You know, a big play here or there and all of a sudden you're off and running and it can carry you for weeks. But they just haven't had a, a couple of big plays or anything to ignite this offense. Second and 17, looking for a screen for McKinnon. He gets a block from Tyreek Hill at the end of it. And Andre Campbell makes the stop, but... A nice 14-yard pickup by Jarek McKinnon. Sure was, and a good job by Joe Tooney making a block out there, and so making this what was second and long, now to third and short, third and medium. Jarek McKinnon, he's, boy, I've always liked him. He's had a tough go last few years that he's tried playing with knee injuries. He's pretty dynamic when healthy. Third down here, there's McKinnon. And Jarek's got a first down for Kansas City. Ten yards on third and three. But Tyreek Hill here in the backfield and nobody goes with him. So he just gets out there in the flat and you get so caught up with Tyreek Hill over to that side that McKinnon's able to come out on that route and be as open as he was. Here is a toss to Hill. Nowhere to go. And swallowed up by Chandon Sullivan. They hand the ball off. They have success. Now they're running reverses and things behind the line of scrimmage. Well... It is kind of who they are, and I asked Andy Reid about that. Remember last Monday night, their first drive, they get down in the red zone, look good, and then you got Travis Kelsey flipping it behind his back. I mean, just a, a, a lot of those type of trick plays, and for an offense that's struggling, but he feels that they need to have the freedom to do some of those things. Here's a pass caught by Kelsey, wrapped up by Campbell. A gain of 13. This Wednesday, the Mass Singer is all new, and it's the semifinals. Don't miss a wild double elimination. And one of the most shocking moments ever. The Mass Singer is all new Wednesday, right here on Fox. Hey. Another third down, and that completion to Kelsey makes it third and two. Mahomes to his left, pass is dropped by Hardman. It's fourth down and the offense is coming off the field. I thought they got away with a little something anyway. Travis Kelsey, when he comes down in motion, he's looking like, he looks like he starts moving up towards the line of scrimmage from, we're looking right down the line on it. That wasn't called, of course, but this is, would be a first down if he's able to make the play. And over end punt by Townsend. And yet again, he's downed it inside the 10. Been one of the stars of the game. Tommy Townsend, the punter, 44-yard punt. Nothing on the return. Back to work, Jordan Love. Under a minute to go, third quarter, down 13. America's Game of the Week. As we continue on from Kansas City. Fourth time the Packers have started at their own 15 or worse. It's happened three times this half. Not an easy hill to climb for Jordan Love. Hands off to Jones, gets to the edge, and now upfield. And a big run by Aaron Jones to start the possession, but a flag is down back at the five. Holding. Offense number 70. Half the distance penalty. Replay first down. Just a crushing hold against Royce Newman. Yeah, he had another one that was 
pretty tough also in the first half because this is a heck of a game. You got Mercedes Lewis out there at tight end, and, and he does his job. It's a great blocking tight end. There's a hold by Royce Newman, number 70. Just completely hooks him. It erases a 19-yard carry by Aaron Jones. First and 14. Out of the shotgun, they hand to Jones, and Chris Jones makes the stop. Gain of just two. And that will likely do it for the first three quarters here in Kansas City. And the Packers who come in having won seven and one, but that's with Aaron Rodgers. Having won seven straight, that streak in jeopardy. Down 13. Fox NFL Sunday continues after this from your local Fox station. Well, Jordan Love is making his first career start today, inactive for every game last year. 26th overall pick in 2020 out of Utah State, much to the surprise of Aaron Rodgers. And in three seasons at Utah State, he set school career records with over 9,000 pass yards and or total yards of offense 12 300 plus yard passing games but all that must seem like a lifetime ago to Jordan Love yeah no doubt and I mean I, I just think they they've got to make a play they've got to get a first down on this possession or I, I think it's going to be shut the door Love throws sideline there is Devontae Adams and by a mile the best connection between Love and Adams or Love and anybody in this game for 15 yards. Well, really great pocket for Jordan Love. Excellent route, Devontae Adams. And this is like what you do at practice, you know? And drop back, nobody's rushing you. Lay it out there to your best player and let him make a play. First time under Matt LaFleur. Now halfway through his third year that the Packers have been shut out after three quarters. They'll start giving Devontae Adams some attention now. Pass is caught. That is Marquez Valdez Scantling and two good throws back to back by Jordan Love. This one for 16. Yeah, this is really good. It's a good route and soft coverage there on the outside. Spag Spagnolo is definitely changing things up. So I pointed out the safety cheating over to Devontae Adams. He then drops down there in single high, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. So he's doing enough to make Jordan Love have to try to read it post-snap. He's not just lining up in the same looks, even though he has struggled. And if you get the third down, you better believe he's going to bring five or six. Three straight throws, three straight completions. Valdez Scantling hops out of bounds with a gain of three. You know, these last three throws that Jordan Love has made, he, he looks he looks calmer in the pocket. There were times earlier in this game where he had time, and yet he was moving around all over the place when he didn't really have to, and, and the ball could have come out. So uh, that's a good sign that he – that. It appears, anyway, that he's finally settling in. Second and seven, quick throw. Adams get it in his hands, and he's out of bounds near another first down. I do think Matt LaFleur can scheme some things up that will give them a chance, like they're doing right now, to move the football. You know, you don't have the luxury of Rodgers and all his experience checking out of bad plays and getting to good plays or taking advantage of the defense. So it, 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 there's a lot of stress then on Matt LaFleur calling the right things to give him a chance. But he, if anybody can do it, I believe Matt LaFleur can. There's a flag on the play. It looked like one of the defenders was lined up in the neutral zone as the pass is broken up. Jaron Reed got pressure, but it looked like one of the Chiefs was in the neutral zone at the snap. And then there's another flex. So there could be two different fouls on this play. There's two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Offside, defense number 95, that penalty's declined. Pass interference, defense number 53. 
That ball will be placed that spot in the foul. Automatic first down. So now they got a little something working here for the Packers as they've taken the ball to midfield. Yeah, they got Chris Jones, who was offsides. There's, there it is right here in the middle, Anthony Hitchens, who they got called for the pass interference. So they get some more yards off of that. I think it's a good time right now if you get the look. Like I said, Spagnolo's mixing things up so well, it's hard to know from one down to the next. But I, I do think right here is a good chance. Take a shot. Take a shot to Devontae Adams. Here's a toss. Dylan right side. To the 46 as he gains four. Chris Jones on the stop. Second down. Well, at least they're staying ahead of the chains. You know, they get up, they get good positive yards there. This drive started Troy at their own eight. Yeah, this is this has been good. Now they now they just need to capitalize it. I mean, they it, the fourth quarter here doesn't help them much if they don't capitalize with points. Here's Dylan. Third down coming up, a gain of just two as Charvarius Ward is out there for Kansas City. But what you talked about is what Matt LaFleur was concerned with. Without Aaron Rodgers, who can cover so many mistakes with what he does at the line, getting rid of the ball fast, he was hoping that Jordan Love would be able to get him into some good looks, and maybe it's starting to turn a little bit here. It's third and four. Well, Matt LaFleur now knows what a lot of other coaches have felt for a long time in this league when they don't have a Hall of Fame quarterback. It's their first third down here of this drive. Pass is caught. Adams out of bounds with a first down, it appears. It is a first down. Forced out by Sneed. So good by Devontae Adams off the line of scrimmage. And then he, it was close. Ooh. You know, where's the ball? I don't know that, I don't know that there's a chance that that might get overturned. But they've been hitting a lot of the underneath things. I just think that they could take a shot up the field. And they got one-on-one -on -one right here. That's Aaron Jones. That's going to be challenged by Andy Reid. As he just got the flag out of his pocket. And that look is pretty definitive with the foot of Devontae Adams on the boundary and the ball not up to the 40. Kansas City is challenging the ruling on the field that the runner did not make the line of game. The Here's that look. Review. Time out. It's either first down or fourth and inches when we come back. Well, they overturned the call on the field, so it is fourth down at inches, and Jordan Love is doing what you just suggested before we came back. Yeah, before we came back from commercial, Jordan Love had broke the huddle, and they'd gone up to the line, and you're asking those guys on fourth and one. They start getting anxious, too, the big guys up front, the offensive linemen, and you don't want them standing there very long, and he wisely, I don't know if that was his doing or LaFleur telling him to, but they got back in the huddle, and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time at the line of scrimmage, you know, here either. Well, they're going to take it from shotgun. Interesting. And they throw it to Adams. So they put it in the hands of Jordan Love, and he completes it to one of the best in the game. And Devontae Adams for the first down, a gain of three. Soft coverage there for fourth and short, fourth and one. Tyron Matthew. You know, not coming up. Typically, when you have that situation, you got guys right up in receivers' faces. Shows you the respect that Devontae Adams gets. Jordan Love is 7-for-7 seven seven on this drive, and he's completed nine straight. Andy Reid had not challenged any calls this season. He's 2-for-2 two two in this game. Nice carry here on first down by Aaron Jones. Here's Carissa with a game break. Thanks, Joe. Chargers Eagles tied at 24. Five seconds left. Dustin Hopkins 29-yard field goal is good. Chargers win and improve to five and three, and now sit atop the AFC West. Joe.
Carissa, thank you. So a tight one, but a win for the Chargers. And now it's L.A. and Las Vegas at the top. Denver, a big win in Dallas. And Kansas City trying to match and get their fifth. Nice cutback by Jones for first down. Good drive that put together that started inside their own 10. Yeah, it is. I, I just, the same play, they come back on that play. It's uh, They just run the exact same play, exact same cut by Aaron Jones, and offensive line does a good job. I, I just keep waiting. I keep waiting because I see Devontae Adams in single coverage, and I say, when are they going to take that shot to him and, and let him, you know, work against one of these corners, but they, they just haven't done it. I think LaFleur right now likes what they're doing. They're staying ahead of the, the chains, and... Let's get one score under our belt, make this a game first. This one wisely thrown at the feet of Aaron Jones. Heavy pressure by Chris Jones. Chris Jones working right through Lucas Patrick, the center. I mean, it's just that he's, when he gets it going, and he really has not been himself, I don't know about the end of this play. Let's see what the, you know, they've called a lot worse. See if he takes him down. It looks like looks like he might have landed on him right there. I've seen a lot of. I mean, I don't think I'm not suggesting it should have been a penalty, but I've seen that call. Now second and ten. Love throws pass off the hand of Devontae Adams. It's third and ten. No two left. 13 to nothing game. Yeah, they are. Joe, they're 0 for 8 on third downs. And if they were ever going to convert one, now's the time. Although, they'll get another shot at it on fourth. Love throws and. Intercepted by Sneed. Legereus Sneed comes down with it. His first interception of the season. Devontae Adams couldn't knock it down or make the catch. 38 in red did. Kansas City takes over at their own five, up 13. Well, the Green Bay Packers turned the ball over three times week one against the Saints, and during their seven-game winning streak, they had turned it over a total of three times. None in their win at Arizona. The miscues today, the interception thrown by Jordan Love, and such a bad end to a promising drive. It started at their own eight. 14 plays, 68 yards that ends in the interception. Here's a nice play by Tyler Lancaster on running back Daryl Williams, a loss of one. We go back to the interception. Yeah, I think they're trying to get a natural pick with Marquez Valdez-Scanlon, only he takes it a little too deep. And then they get the one-on-one -on -one here to Devontae Adams. But Scanlon does not get the pick. And then really good coverage. I mean, excellent coverage by Legereus Sneed. He's over the top. We've certainly seen that back shoulder fade enough times between Rodgers and Adams. It's not there. It's in a position where Sneed can make a play. And as you said, Adams unable to play defense. But a really great play by the corner. On second down, Hill overthrown. By the way, four Packer drives have ended inside the Chiefs' 40 and they've come away with no points as Hill and Mahomes can't connect again. Uh, yeah, and they got a shot. You know, I mean, they definitely have a chance. And, and those, those kinds of misses were the ones that for several years we just saw them never miss. I mean, it seemed like that anyway, that they hit them all the time. And you know, their longest completion today is 25 yards to Kelsey. I think that's the only 20-yard reception they've had. Well, now, third down and 11. 
Mahomes from the end zone throws it behind Hill. And a quick three and out. So more three and outs in this game for Kansas City than they had had all year combined. Yeah, I think, you know, so the Kansas City continues to, to struggle, and Andy Reid knows it, and Pat Mahomes knows it, and they know that they've got to, you know, somehow find themselves each week. They keep thinking that's going to be the week where they get it going, but for the Packers defensively, boy, it'd be a real shame if this defensive effort is wasted. Townsend, it's a beauty. Amari Rodgers from inside the 35. No flag on that initial block. As Shamar Jean Charles made sure to the official that he did not shove the Kansas City player in the back. And a 64-yard punt, but a 16-yard return by the rookie Rodgers. One lucky winner hit Fox Super 6's TNF jackpot. And you have a chance to win $25,000 doing the same thing this week. Just scan the QR code now and enter the TNF Challenge by this Thursday for your chance to win. It's free to play. Just download the app. Packers get it right back. That drive lasted less than a minute by Kansas City. From their own 46, Love throws out of the reach of Adams. Well, Spagnuolo didn't waste any time. This time, he brings six on first down. Just not going to allow here at midfield. Love to, to get comfortable, and, he, and he's not. I mean, he really has not for the most part. You think that is the quick turnaround defensively for Kansas City having to get back out on the field, maybe, maybe they're a little tired, and that'll help this offensive line because Jaron Reed has gotten some good push, and so has Chris Jones on the last couple of possessions. Jones was in there on that first down play. Second and ten. Extra men on the rush. Love floats it for Adams. It's not there. Another blitz from Kansas City. Yeah, this time instead of six, they bring seven. So they're they're hanging themselves out. I mean, they just had they're confident that they can get there, and if they can't, like right here, that they're not going to connect. I mean, there's just the, I just can't imagine that Steve Spagnuolo would be doing this with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback and one-on-one -on, -one on the outside with Devontae Adams. I mean, I just don't think there's any way that that would happen. But the Packers just have not been able to make them pay on any of those opportunities. Third down and ten. Love throws. He's got Cobb. The Cobb's got a long way to go. And he's got Big first down for Green Bay. And the veteran Cobb for 15 on third and 10. Well, that works. Get the ball into his hands quickly and let him go see what he can do. Obviously, he's been a big, re good returner through his career. He's got some space. That is the first third down conversion by the Packers in the game. 15 yards on third and 10 there, one for 10 on third down. Love throws it, Adams out of his reach and out of bounds. Frank Clark with pressure on Jordan Love. You may play 15 years in the league and not get a better opportunity than this. Devontae Adams beats his man, Fenton. He's, look, he's waiting for it, but... I don't know if Love doesn't see that he hit inside releases it, but the safety was nowhere to be found. Sometimes if a safety is a threat, then as a quarterback, you're going to lay it more to the boundary. That was out of bounds, but he, he beat his man so quickly. Anything within the reach of Devontae Adams is a touchdown. Here is Aaron Jones to the 34. Tershawn Wharton made the stop for Kansas City. Just over six and a half to go, third down and six. Packers down 13. Coming off that big win in Arizona. The Packers are huddling up, but it just, they got to, 
there's got to be more urgency. There, you get, I understand huddling, but you just got to get these guys in the huddle faster and out of the huddle faster and get the ball snapped. Jones takes it and gets it. The Packers run it on third and six, and Aaron Jones gets nine. Boy, he got nine, and it was close to being a house call. If they're not able to make the tackle here at the end of this play, the last line of defense, and for a minute there, it looked like he might just split it. Back-to-back -back third down conversions for Green Bay. Blitz again. Passes out of the reach of Randall Cobb. The great quarterbacks, you blitz at your own peril. And against the young Jordan Love, they are blitzing without thinking twice. They are, and sometimes the blitz cleans things up for a young quarterback because now you've got one-on-one. -on -one, you don't even have to read the defense. You just know that, hey, pick a guy and let it go. They so, blitz Love 17 times in this game. Yeah, they have not held back. Pass over the middle is caught. That's the tight end to Guara. Gain of five. And as soon as you think you know what Spagnolo is going to do, then all of a sudden he drops out there. He plays coverage. Has safeties over the top on the outside receivers and then zone in the middle. But there's nobody in the middle of the field. There's nobody here. This one for Cobb, and broken up. Sneed again. That brings up fourth down. Well, if he's got Lazard here and nobody in the middle, if Lazard, if he gets the ball to Lazard, I mean, Lazard picks up the first down, and he, he may, who knows, maybe he scores. But when you see nobody's in the middle, then find somebody who's getting to the middle. But look, I mean, this we pointed it out. I mean, a young player making his first start, and it's a lot. Timeout is taken on the field with exactly five minutes left. As Matt LaFleur wants to be sure of this play call, any chance to come back. Rests on this fourth down and five. Welcome back inside the broadcast booth. Joe Buck and the Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. And uh, we've seen some stretches here where Jordan Love yeah. has gotten into the flow of the game and has been able to complete passes but can't sustain it. Can't sustain it. I mean, it is a lot. I mean, it's a tough environment. It's a hard place to play when you don't have that kind of experience. It's a hard place to play even if you're a 10, 15-year veteran. So uh, he, he's, he's getting thrown in there and sink or swim and so far it's it's been really tough but it's uh, all right here as to whether or not they're going to give themselves a chance this one for Lazard makes a play touchdown Packers Sorensen missed on the tackle, and Lazard just ducked his head. And that's the first touchdown throw by young Jordan Love. Alan Lazard at Sorensen, who's he struggled. He has had a tough time this year. He's given up some plays. He's given up some big plays. He just has been in a bit of a slump, and Lazard beats him, not only for the completion in the first down, but then the missed tackle allows him to score. Can they knock one through the uprights? They can. Well, there it is for Jordan Love. 20 yards on fourth and five for the touchdown to Lazard, his third of the year. Pretty good route there by Lazard. And Sorensen initially, he, he was trying to get into position at the snap of the ball. He was outside leverage at the ball, time the ball was snapped. But Lazard, he stayed on his track. He was able to get him turned. And then more importantly, make him miss for the score so the defense has been so good there's mom and 
and the girlfriend, they have something to, to hug about. And so do Jordan Love and Alan Lazard. You know, that's good. Now, with this defense, as good as they've played, Green Bay's, you know, they've got to make a stop. And they've been making a lot of stops, but now they've got to make one more. Cole Hartman waiting for the kick from Crosby. From inside the 10. Out of bounds at the 20. Well, Kansas City, they need to move the chains. Now they lead by six. Just 11 first downs in the game for the Chiefs. And six of those first downs came on the first drive of the game. So only five first downs since the first time they possessed it. As you look at the quarterback numbers. Well, and for the first time, they have a little pressure on their shoulders. We'll see how they respond. Here's a handoff. Williams is tripped up. What a game for Chris Barnes. That is so good by Chris Barnes continuing to do what he has done throughout the game that there's the lane these good running backs in the NFL they're gonna find the gap I mean they're gonna they're gonna find the holes and here he comes thinking he's got something and here comes big number 51 cleaning it up team high eight tackles for Barnes Kelsey. And Travis Kelsey for 23. Well, the linebackers, they, they just, they're not disciplined with their eyes. And so the movement happens across the formation right there. And they get to looking in the backfield. And Mahomes, you see the eyes of the linebackers. And they're looking in the backfield as opposed to Travis Kelsey, who runs right past them and hooks up in the zone. Just the second play for the Chiefs all game of over 20 yards. Boy, did they need that. A hand to Williams. He gets two, and T.J. Slayton, who's taken over for Kenny Clark, makes that stop. T.J. Slayton. He's down. At Lancaster. Tyler Lancaster is down and unable to get up, which stops the clock with 313 left. After a two-yard carry by Daryl Williams. We'll take a break and come back. Second and eight for Kansas City. GEHA field at Arrowhead. Kansas City, Missouri, and a second and eight. Lancaster popped up. He got his ankle trapped beneath some bodies. And back to work, the rookie Jack Heflin. Chiefs who came in with 19 giveaways, the most in the NFL, and not turned the ball over. Second and eight. Hardman, King, first down. And Hardman got up and put his hand into the chest of Kevin King, no flags. And you can see Andy Reid at the bottom of the screen upset with what Hardman just did. Yeah, no kidding. It's the last thing they need. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not smart. I mean, he's fortunate. You know, Packers. The call officials have been all over it. Yeah, Packers call the timeout. They have one left. Yeah, really fortunate it wasn't a penalty there. So first down now, and with 2.37 left, Green Bay has one timeout in the two-minute warning to stop the clock. Yeah, they got one last chance to make a stop. Tyler Lancaster back in there for the Packers.
Here's Williams. Slayton with a tackle, a gain of three. Timeout, Green Bay. They're out of timeouts. So that's obviously a key stat for this team that's been heavily penalized in the 19 giveaways the most in the league. Better in this one, no turnovers. Leading by six and faced with second and seven with two and a half to go. And, and we've talked a lot about the inconsistencies of, of the Chiefs offensively, but that is the real positive to come out of this because, you know, this game may look different. It might not with the way Green Bay's played on the offensive side of the ball, but not turning the ball over, especially against this Packers defense that has had at least two takeaways in every game but two this year. So they have really feasted on, on the takeaways. They haven't been able to get them against this offense that has been given it to a lot of teams. Hand off to Williams. Slayton again. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Yep, so now it's all it all comes down here to, to third down. And whether they make a stop and then what Andy Reid, if they do make a stop, what Andy Reid decides to do as to whether or not he goes for it. So just to finish the story on the turnovers and the penalty yards, no turnovers, and just 28 penalty yards marked off against the Chiefs. If they convert on third down and five, they will secure win number five on the year. We'll find out when we come back. We have a new audience that is joining us. Mason Crosby had one miss on a field goal try of 40 yards, a 37-yarder blocked in the first half. Six-point affair. Well, Harrison Butker is hit from 24 and 55, a season long. Third down and five. Green Bay, no timeouts. And that's going to be an extra five yards as Wiley left too early. False start, offense number 77, five-yard penalty, third down. Chiefs lost Lucas Niang early, and Wiley has taken over at right tackle, and he's guilty of the false start. Well, it's a good decision here for Andy Reid as far as do you throw it to pick it up or do you run it? You're unlikely to make it, but you run off 40 more seconds, and you punt and you pin them way back, and or you risk stopping the clock and not converting. I mean, those, that kind of time is is big when an offense needs to go score a touchdown. Mahomes chased. Gary didn't get there. Pass caught. First down, Kansas City. As Mahomes on the run, outrunning Rashawn Gary, completes for 13. It's a really good job won by Mahomes, but then also by Tyreek Hill when he, him just finding his way starts up the field, but it's just the the chemistry that he has with Mahomes and knowing what his quarterback wanted him to do to, to free himself and complete the pass. There's a lot of freedom for these receivers to do those kinds of things, and of course that was a scramble drill, so a little bit different, but just really good chemistry there between he and Mahomes and being able to convert an ISIS game. Patrick Mahomes doing Mahomes type things on third and ten completing for 13. An early touchdown to Travis Kelsey but no touchdown since for Kansas City. One miss, one field goal blocked for Crosby. Butker right before half hit from 55. Jordan Love was picked by Legereus Sneed. Then the next time they had it, down the field, and a touchdown throw to Alan Lazard for 20 yards. His first in the NFL, Jordan Love, and then moments ago, Tyreek Hill securing that catch and securing this win. Well, the Chiefs still don't look like the same team that's been to three straight AFC championship games and two straight Super Bowls. 
Maybe they can build off that. And the Packers, you know, the one thing they do get is they're going to walk out of here, it appears, 7-2. and two. This defense played a great game. Yeah. And if they continue to play like this and they get Aaron Rodgers back either in their next game at home against Seattle or after that, this is a really formidable Green Bay Packers team. There, there's no question. And, and coming off last week's win against Arizona, the defense played great. They played great again here tonight. Kansas City did just enough in order to, to win this game. But tough night for the second-year player, Jordan Love. And, and, you know, he'll be better whenever he gets his next shot. Andy Reid. Hey, coach. And Matt LaFleur come together, and for Reid, career win number 225, and now 226 to tie Curly Lambeau for fifth on the all-time list. A win for the Kansas City Chiefs. A big conversion on third.